O come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. O come, be O come, ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Today we light a candle of joy, the true joy of knowing God and the joy shared with the world through the birth of that special baby Jesus. As we light the candle, we focus on the joy in our lives and upon something that causes us to rejoice, something that we have been happy about this week. Remind us, Lord, that amidst the difficulties of life, we are loved by you. And Lord, we come to give you thanks for all we have and for all those we love. Remind us to be sharers of your love with joy and thankfulness so that all might feel your presence with them this Advent season. Amen. Picture a stable in Judea, picture a sacred silent night, and can you hear the angels near and see the stars so bright? Picture the little baby Jesus, think of his life. teachers at our junior church. You may remember that back in May we did a virtual anniversary service which was on the theme of rainbows. Who'd have believed that six months on we're now having to do a virtual nativity service? But needs must so hey ho here we are. So I'd like to thank our children and young people and their families for uh, taking on the roles and bringing this nativity service to you today. Our introductory song that you listened to then was called Picture Christmas 
And I thought how apt that was really this year because maybe we won't be able to get along to our traditional celebratory services, but we can still picture a Christmas. And I hope that wherever you're watching this, you will be able to do just that as the young people bring our nativity service to you in your homes. So I hope that you can feel the love and hope that Christmas does bring. Uh, and I hope that we can meet very soon all together. But until then, lots of Christmas blessings are being sent your way. Lots of hugs, lots of kisses. We come together to hear and watch the joy of the message brought to the world through the birth of a child over 2000 years ago. We share the Christmas message of love and peace in today's world. We pray for peace on earth, for fellowship among all the peoples of the world, we, for, we, for care for those living in poverty and for those need, needs of our families and communities. As we come together in our own homes, we ask God's blessing on each of us, free us from any worry or distress that we may have and help us to welcome the light of Christ into our lives. A light that gives us the gift of hope. May hope fill our hearts, our minds, our homes. We ask this through Christ your Son. Amen. these past few weeks. First, I was visited by an angel 
I know, an angel. She told me I was going to have a baby, a very special baby. It's going to be a boy. She even told me what to call him. Jesus, it's God's son. Fancy that. When, But when poor Joseph found out, he was very upset. We were engaged, but after hearing that, he broke off the engagement. Anyway, it's okay now, because that same angel visited him in a dream and told him what was going to happen. So now, it was to be husband and wife, and baby Jesus will be here soon. Soon. Here's Joseph now. Mary, have you packed your bags yet? We need to get going on our journey to Bethlehem. We have to do our registration for the census. It's going to be a long journey. I've just fed the donkey, so hurry up. I hope the baby doesn't arrive just yet. Please God, look after us. I'm absolutely fed up of people knocking on that door and asking for a room for the night. It's bedlam. I'm full. No room. No vacancies. I can't take any more. I'm even using the stable round back. A young couple arrived on a donkey. They were exhausted. And she looked as if she was about to give birth. I could hardly turn them away. At least they are warm, dry, and can snuggle down in the hay. <sighs> it sounds like the baby's arrived. It's all a bit strange, but there's a calmness in the air. Something special has happened. I think, I think I'll go take a look. Silence night. Holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round the young virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly Silence night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight, glory stream from heaven afar, heavenly hosts sing alleluia. Christ the Saviour is born, Christ the Saviour is born. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face with the 
dawn of redeeming grace. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. My goodness, it's happened. He's here. He's arrived. Who's here? Jesus, don't you remember? I had to go and visit Mary and Joseph and tell them the news about the special baby they were going to have. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got another job now. Can I come? Yes, your first job. We need to get ready to visit some shepherds and tell them the news. We need to practice our singing first, though. Come on, this is an exciting day. Welcome to the world, baby Jesus. Hello, baby Jesus, on this special day. We couldn't wait to see you, and we like to say,
Wow! That's amazing! What is it? Let me see. Wow! Oh, let me see! Wow! That has got to be the biggest and brightest star I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. Find the book, let's have a look. is a sign. It has risen in the east and I think we need to follow it. You're right. It will lead us where baby has been born. He will be king of the Jews. I'll go get camels ready. We must prepare. We will bring gifts. Yeah. We will bring gold, frankincense and myrrh. All these gifts are fitting for a king. Matthew chapter 2 verses 9 till 12 After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Hope everyone has a fun and safe Christmas, and I'm sure next year we will do the Nativity in person. Let us pray. We thank you for the story of Christmas, a story that tells us about how much you, God, love the world, that you came to us in Jesus. Help us to continue to celebrate that joy and hope you brought to the world, and to know that you are with us today and always. We pray now together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Forgive us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Good morning. I'd like to just say a very big thank you to Kath and to all the members of Junior Church who have prepared and, and put this nativity together, all showing the, the amazing technical abilities that we've acquired over this past eight months. It's great to be able to share the Christmas story again in this way. It's wonderful that we're able to see what is going on and, and stay together as a family despite being in our, our separate places. We pray that it won't be long before we are able to be back together in church once again. Of course, we'll be able to continue celebrating through the Christmas services that we'll be featuring on the YouTube channel over the next few days. A carol service next week, there's one in the morning and, and one in the afternoon, which will be our particular Bursco one. And then on Christmas Eve, you free to join with a, a Christmas Eve Zoom, which will be a circuit thing. And then we gather as different parts of the circuit on Christmas Day to take part in a Zoom then. Or there will be an online service available on Christmas Day as well. Or a DVD can, can be supplied before that. So now may the joy of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, the worship of the wise man and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas and forever. And may the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us now and evermore. Amen.